Hi, in this video I'm going to be solving an example using Lagrange multipliers. So, um, the question asks us to find the points on the ellipse x squared plus 5y squared is equal to 1, where the function f of xy equals to x times y has its extreme values. So we want to find the extreme values of this function uh, that lie on the ellipse of this equation. So I, I suggest you pause the video and try and solve this problem. Um, then come back and see how I solve it. Okay, so the first thing in these types of problems is to figure out which is f, uh, which is the function you want to maximize. So in this case, the function you want to maximize is x times y. And the constraint we usually denote by the letter g is this ellipse over here, which has the equation x squared plus 5y squared is equal to 1. And uh, I'm going to write down the basic idea of Lagrange multipliers, which says if you want to find the extreme values or um, or the extreme points, you say that the gradient of the function is equal to lambda times the gradient of the constraint, which means that the partial drift of the respect function with respect to x is equal to lambda times the partial drift of the constraint with respect to x, which is gx, and fy is equal to lambda gy fz is equal to lambda gz. But of course, in this case, we only have x and y, so we're not going to need this. Okay, so let's find the partial derivatives. So uh, the gradient of the function is this vector over here, fx and fy. fx, which is the partial derivative with respect to x, you get y. fy, you differentiate this with respect to y, and you get x. Now, uh, let's do the gradient of the constraint. It's going to be the vector gx and gy. So gx is, you differentiate the constraint with respect to x, and you get 2x. gy, you get uh, 10y. So now let's move to the next step, which is uh, writing down these equations. So we can say that y is equal to lambda times 2x, x is equal to lambda times 10y, and you see here we have two equations, three unknowns, so we need to introduce a third equation, and this equation is going to be the constraint we have. So the third equation is going to be x squared plus 5y squared is equal to 1. Now we have three equations, three unknowns, and we can solve the simultaneous equations. So I'm going to call this equation 1, this equation 2, and this equation 3. So I see here that I have um, x is equal to lambda times 10y, so I'm going to introduce this equation into equation 1. So equation 2 and equation 1, we say that y is equal to 2 lambda times x, which is 2 lambda times, and see here that x is equal to lambda times 10y. We can rewrite this by saying that y is equal to 2 lambda squared, um, sorry, 20 lambda squared y, because 2 times 10 is 20. So in this case, we can say that uh, y could be equal to 0, right? So y is equal to 0. That's one uh, solution to this equation. But keep in mind that y is equal to 0. Uh, the value of the function x times y is going to go to 0, but we want to maximize this function. Um, so we can ignore this case. Ignore case. Because remember, we want to maximize this function, and if y is equal to 0, this whole function will go to 0, and uh, this cannot happen. So we can immediately ignore the case where y is equal to 0. So now that we are sure that y is equal to 0, we can divide by y on both sides. Um, so dividing by y on both sides, we get that 1 is equal to 20 lambda squared. And 1 over 20 is equal to lambda squared. Therefore, uh, lambda is equal to positive or negative root 1 over 20 which is positive or negative 1 over root 20. 
So now we have the value of lambda and we can substitute this uh, into the, this equation here. So back in equation two, we can say that x is equal to positive or negative one over root 20 um, times 10 y, which is equal to positive or negative 10 over root 20 y. Okay, um, <coughs> so let's simplify this. We can say that x is equal to positive or negative 5 over root 5y. So now um, we have a new function we're going to introduce. Let's call this 4. And I'm going to introduce uh, function 4 into function 3. 4 into Three. Remember, three was x squared plus five y squared is equal to one. So x squared was going to be positive or negative five over root five y all squared plus five y squared is equal to one. So this is going to be twenty-five over five y squared plus five y squared is equal to one, which means that ten y squared is equal to one. Therefore, uh, y squared is equal to 1 over 10, and y is equal to positive or negative 1 over root 10. So now we found uh, the value of y, and we can substitute this. Let's call this equation number 5. 5 into number 4, and remember this is equation 4. So we get that uh, x is equal to positive or negative um, 5 over root 5 times y which is positive or negative 1 over root 10 and um, of course you get can I, of course you're gonna get four different cases uh, when both are positive or one is positive and the other is negative and so on so when you multiply this you get that x is equal to positive or negative uh, 1 over root 2. So now we want to list all the points we have. So all the points where we can get extreme values are uh, when both are positive. So we get 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 10. Another case when x is positive and y is negative. So 1 over root 2 and negative 1 over root 10. You get uh, negative 1 over root 2 and 1 over root 10. And finally, the last case when both are negative, negative 1 over root 2 and negative 1 over root 10. And these here are the points where you get the extreme values. And this is the final answer. So, yeah, that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comment section below and uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them. Good luck.